Welcome viewers and today we are diving into a roadmap to become a web developer. So I'll guide you throughout the main topics you need to master. I will not going to tell you a lot of things to do this that. It's just a simple roadmap if you are a fresher and you want to become a web developer, you need to follow this. So let's get started. Very first thing is again coming back to HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS is very important when you start with the phase of web development. HTML is a structure of web content and CSS is like styling, layout, including responsive design, flexbox, grids. So these things are very important. The initial stage this is just step one. Then comes JavaScript. JavaScript is what it adds interactivity to your web pages. I know that most of you guys know about it. But I'll tell you the key concept you have to learn like variables, functions, events, ES6 features like arrow functions. So these small things are very important when you are starting your journey as a web developer. Start creating projects with HTML, CSS and JavaScript only. Don't need to go towards framework at the initial stage. Just start giving it a try and learn about version control system, which is Git and GitHub. Git is essentially a small a command line tool which uh, which there are a lot of commands like in it to get clone get commit push pull so you have to learn about all these commands and then you are ready to host your project in github github is a collaboration and showcasing platform where you can showcase your projects i i hope that a lot of you are already aware of it so start with this this is a very initial stage as a fresher don't run for a lot of things then once you have created a few projects go for learning the front-end frameworks and libraries these days react.js is very popular you can go with building dynamic user interfaces basic components props state and hooks like learn about all these things in react and then you know cre start creating project with that framework uh, that library as well okay then comes backend development since you are uh, you are going towards web development we'll talk about backend as well so Node.js and Express.js, definitely go for it. Server-side programming with JavaScript helps. And creating APIs, handling server, request, uh, all these things you need to you know, learn as a part of web development roadmap. Then about database also, you have to learn like SQL. What is SQL? What is no SQL? And CUD operations like create, read, update, delete. So learn about all these things. And since again, we're talking about web development roadmap, I will try to cover modern stack development. So combining, I, I think that you are already aware, but I'll let me repeat it here. Modern stack development is like MongoDB, Express.js, React.js, and Node.js. So you can build a full stack application using this. So then when you have a basic project, you have a project with your frameworks and libraries you like, then go for this a whole sort of project. And then after once your project is developed, you are ready to deploy and host it. So yeah, deployment platforms, host Universal, Heroku, Netlify, and learn about that also. Go through all those platforms and how you can host it, like basics of deployment of your web application, learn it, and then host a project. And these projects you can showcase in your resume that you have built all these things. So yeah, resources may, when you can like, Go for online courses if you want to learn more about it. You can go for tutorials and you can stay co connected with communities. So basically, you have to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies currently going on and recap yourself whenever you have learned something, whenever you are you know, on the way to create projects or something. Just recap whatever you have learned. And uh, in the end, like uh, I have, like as mentioned earlier, like create project with the initial part, like then create a project with the additional framework or library in that, then create a project with the whole backend and frontend system, like a whole full fledge application, end-to-end -end application. So when Recura will see your profile, they are gonna see, okay, okay, this person has learned from scratch and this person has built a lot of things and he's on he or she's on the way to build more things in their life. So include all these things in your resume, it's gonna definitely shine. And that's all about today's video. And uh, if you like this video, then definitely share with your friends who is like really interested to be a web developer and is a fresher. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. See you.